Tumen favored, but Focus apparently has a plan. Yeah, creep route harass timing here will be a very big deal. It seems like on Hammerfall, it's kind of difficult to get that level two and then harass. Orcs oftentimes like to get the level two in the middle with the two green camps, like, you know, uh, Terna Stand or uh, Twisted Meadows. But here, the middle greens had the there's a little Hydra there who has Dryad Poison, yes. which makes things pretty damn annoying. Exactly. So I think Focus will have to go for a different kind of a creep route. Let's go then! Second set for both of these players. Both lost their opening match. Focus 0-2 against Kaho. Sock 1-2 against Fly. And here we go. Both uh, about to start their redemption arc. But we'll, one player will go with a 0-2 lost record into day 2 tomorrow. Sock upper left, focus bottom right. And so far, things are looking pretty standard. We're gonna have a barracks into War Mill Headhunters. It should be normally. And we're looking for the heroes. AM and Farseer, most certainly expected. MK doesn't really pull off this uh, Rock Golem creep too well. And the altar pointing south seems to indicate, indeed, that we're gonna have a fast expo at the gold mine. Yeah, that is the standard so far. When you look at Focus, um, his hair indicates that there was a lot of head scratching going on after that series. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. What went Reminds wrong? me a bit of Homer Simpson as well. It's like uh, <laughs> a couple of strands of hair there <laughs> across the top of the head. Hopefully he's not going to get as enraged. <laughs> nah, never. Maybe a donut to uh, fuel things up here. Yeah, this is once again a very 50-50 early game. If the creep goes well, Sock's in leading position. If this harass is as gruesome as it was for Fly versus Sock on map one in their series respectively, then the door is wide open for the Orc and this creep pull well, took the third attempt, but here we go. It's a tower coming up in the main base. That means there should be absolutely no resources for an expansion, right? Unless he wants to make another tower at the expo and really slow down the town hall. Interesting start. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. While the Farseer is right away heading across the map, ready to harass. No creeping for him. If you could see the last hit here, that would be sensational, but hard to do. This is the big moment. Oh! And he got it! Oh my god, the disastrous day for Sock continues. 60% of a level right onto Focus's XP account. What a nightmare Monday this is for Sock. I didn't even upgrade the tower. Uh, now the aim is stuck in level one forever. This is horrible. But also, Sock didn't play around the last hit at all. You're supposed to leave the creep on like 50 HP or maybe 75, and then attack with everything and get the last hit guaranteed. That was, I'm sorry to say, but that was again very sloppy. Focus with a sick timing though, sick execution, found the timing and again, you gotta exploit the weaknesses of your opponent and Focus did exactly that, a ruthless killer so far here on Hammerfall. That is already a little bit of recovery after that match versus Kaho. I am just standing there face tanking the damage down now to less than 200 HP with seemingly still no hope of level 2. Crazy. Damn, that's a that's a painful start. Yeah, it feels like Sock in the past two months lost a lot of confidence. Uh, mirrored in the results, and now it's just all focus. The first four minutes, just all focus. We got defend upgrade coming that can sometimes swing the tides a little bit if the human can go for a good counterattack. But so many of the footies are already hurt. And the shop was cancelled. There's no healing going on right now. Tier 2 swiftly approaching for focus with a big, big tech lead. Yeah, I do like that Sock is not stubbornly going for that tech because focus is just uh, for for the expo. As, like Focus is so oppressive. There's no real chance to get it up right now. Hydra taken care of. So is the turtle. That's level 2. And yeah, the momentum is clearly on the Orc side. Yeah, so much so we can now creep the big consumables here in the middle pretty easily. With lots of headhunters, if you're left alone, as we know, you can creep very fast. Gonna pick up the next big one here. What's that gonna be? Scroll the beast! 
couldn't be quite good in the right position. And this Farseer seems to be heading straight for level 3. Alright, is he gonna be pulling back for the second consumable spot? Sock trying to make something work with a little bit of health now on his footies once again, but what's he supposed to do right now? Like his signature move would of course be the Beastmaster push, you called it earlier, but when you're so far behind, does that Beastmaster yeah, timing even work out anymore? I doubt it. Yeah, probably not. Farseer keeps creeping, gonna get the next consumable and gonna get a nice fast level 3. Level 2 wolves now ready. Sok has the opportunity though to cancel at least some tier 2 buildings and Focus needs to get back to defend. Okay, not that much surface area for the repair. Good block in the north. And with defend, this is hard to deal with. Focus a bit out of position, that's the first burrow. How much damage can he do? He's not interested in the tier 2 buildings, maybe they're too far progressed. But the burrow's looking juicy without donating too many of these footies away. I am always getting threatened by the wolves, taking some damage, being scouted for. So far, Focus has lost no units, by the way. Only one burrow. But the replacement burrow was coming up. Now he can produce again. I'd say this is the grand position for Focus. Farseer, now so strong, can also try to be annoying. And the TC can start to solo level. And now, perhaps, going to be Focus thinking about an expansion. Right on. That, that burrow cancel is a bit annoying, but... As long as it's not supply blocking you, it's totally fine. You get the Shaman out, you get the Raiders out, you get way more control of the game with the spell and more CC. And the TC is already on the way to some higher levels. Mountain King is out and once again, the little Dwarf has to be the carry, but TC has a jump start. If the MK still gets to level fairly well, gets a fast level three, and Sok pulls up some good rifle micro, there might still be something possible. Also, this map, not really that big. If Focus wants to expand, Sok could scout for it and cancel it, and then perhaps play a strong one base, one base game. Sok does, in fact, have a supply lead here. But hero level-wise, we see Focus clearly ahead. The supply lead might melt as the burrow is finishing. And Snare also online. This is all lining up. The consumables are crazy strong for Focus. But yeah, late game is a human game. You just have to get there, which is at the moment the big, big, big problem for Sock in almost all of his games. Gets the heal scroll already and will be banking at 50 once again. A one base, one base game so far. Very different to what we've seen in the Sock versus Fly series, but yeah, all advantages again on Focus, who is catching his opponent right away. Yeah, so I can certainly not fight here. He needs military support for any kind of an engagement. Speed scroll and stomp finds the human army. Minimal losses. Oh, I think even that footy got away. Okay, good escape. Clean escape by Sock. But has still yet to level more to really be a threat. As the TC is level 3 already. Got the heal scroll here from the shop. Also got an invis. Seems like Focus wants to look for a fight. And why not? Distracting from that expansion, he's still solid in the mana department. Got the heal scroll, the scroll, invo potion is all ready. Oh. The levels on focus aren't that great. Uh oh, here comes the storm, lightning shield, chain lightning. Sock is shocked. Committing in very deep with headhunters here, perhaps a bit too deep. We're gonna have the scroll of the beast also pop. Focus, he was very eager with the storm, and the storms were beautiful, but the rest of the army not being micro too perfectly here. Sock might be able to hold this attack. With the help of the creeps, the crab was uh, attacking for a long time. Now that shifts a little bit again. Oh, lots of units about to fall. Next chain lightning, last bit of mana about to be dashed out. TC also no mana anymore. With still throwing some storm balls, but Focus got his eye on the price, and that is dwarves. And the rifles especially have been picked off one by one. AM now gets level 3 finally. What about the MK? He needs to survive. He needs to keep leveling as well. Get closer to level 3. He's almost there now. Focus though, in the end, even if it wasn't a perfect attack, still seems to come out on top. He's got the supply lead, and most importantly, he's got the expansion about to finish. That's right. The consumables are gone, but that's about it. Not too many unit losses for him. Sock, no momentum at all 
it's nothing that there's a silver lining on the horizon that he's waiting, uh, waving, waiting for that will save his game. You gotta fight out of that miserable position somehow. He looks... He almost looks sad, dude. This is, he's like, oh my god, really? Does this have to keep happening? There's gonna be one more round of Militia called, and a lot of your Orguins now are very hurt. Level 4 on the far here, though. That's level 2 Chain Lightning, ready to rock. Where's he gonna throw it? On the AM, very hurt. But he survives into the back of the base. Focus with a strong recovery, but some opportunity for kills here. Radar already dead, two headhunters also about to fall. But it's just full control. And now the situation is a lot different than before the fight, because Expo is up, double income for Focus established, and he has a supply lead, and he has the level lead. It's almost hopeless for Sock now. Yeah, TC almost level 4, he got a bunch of rings, can go over to the shop, get the heal scrolls there simultaneously, take them away from Sock. Focus here, playing on the grander macro scale, a really good game. Micro-wise we've had a few uh, hiccups here, but that still seems to be good enough. MK and AM, now finally level 3, but Sock's army size is always a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, size matters sometimes, and in Warcraft 3 it absolutely does. Turtle goes down, focus level 4, new consumable is an Ankh, so even if Sock decides to go for hero focus now, focus has a solution against that. Clap it is though, Mountain King is fueled to the brim with mana, needs to convert that into kills. Raiders and Hunters sent into the back, trying to pick off the casters. I like that quite a bit, and the TC is still landing some stomps. We have Kodo Beast and the Wolves here being quite good. Devours and just the right clicks, and Sock keeps getting punished all the time. He lost so many peasants, I don't even think he can call Militia anymore. No. It's really all up to this Mountain King. And focus with great trades and Sock. Back-to-back -back losses here. Focus with the first map win of his tournament. Definitely recovering from that uh, slap he received from Kaho earlier today. This looked really good. And with that in a leading position now, good game plan, good execution, and Sock no chance. Yeah, when you lose that last hit at the beginning of the game, that is a disaster. And if you're in good shape and you have the confidence to bring it back in a difficult game, maybe you can do it. But Sock just seems a bit deflated at the moment. Um, yeah. When things go wrong, he kind of loses hope and he's, you know... Kind of walking around, twiddling his thumbs. Nothing really significant there came after. It seemed like he almost uh, chalked this game up as lost already after the first few minutes, which oftentimes, yeah, it is. Map number two, his map choice now will be Tidehunters. Again, a good map for an expansion play, but also, again, quite harassable by the orc. There we go. It would, of course, be a little bit of a curveball by Sock now to move away from his expansion play because he's done it multiple times in the past, um, but rather go harass heavy, the Leon kind of way, with sneaky creep routes, dodge your opponent, get an early high level, and then pounce on the orc base, the so fragile orc base. Maybe that is the play, because these expansions are too easy to read and too easy to punish. Yeah, on the perfect map, you may still want to do it, like Echo Isles maybe, but of course Echo Isles here is not in the pool. Yeah, I feel like Sok has been uh, trying uh, different playstyles. He's been trying the Beastmaster stuff, the rifle stuff, the expansion stuff. But at the moment, nothing seems to be sticking to the wall. Uh, it seems like Sok is just frustrated in this matchup, and I feel like it's becoming visible. Right on. It's not uh, looking too fired up. On his side, appreciate how focus is pretty much perfectly centered in that little box for his player cam. Love to see it. Very well done. I don't think he has to change a lot. Everything he did in game one worked out. The decision making was top and just has to take it home. It's all down to Sock to make this a series. Archmage going to be the hero choice here once again against the Farseer. Opening builds here looking exactly the same. It's going to be one grunt into Headhunters once more on this map. Also, um, a fast 
Level 2 is very achievable for the Farseer if he goes for a little bit of creeping at the start. And I wonder what Creep Route Suck is going to go for. Could try to go for the lab creep again. A little bit of a risk. Ooh, really? But after Hammerfall? After you yeah, lost I mean, if the it, big if it goes column? Wrong, if it goes wrong map 1, there's definitely not... It's definitely not going to go wrong map two, right? That makes well, sense. Well, it's a 50-50 chance always, isn't there? Yeah. It either works or it doesn't. It's true. All right, but the footy is not at the lab. Not going to pull, so no. No rock golem this time. Yeah, I think this would have been a bit too easy for Focus to, to punish that. If not for the rock golem, then for peasants and footmen and this is what ruined Sox game against Fly already so you don't want to make the same mistake twice here. Fasia with a little pit stop at the green go for the turtles why not and we have the same build again grunt into headhunters. Sock accelerating towards the 12 o'clock spot indicating another expansion play. Not calling militia though. Maybe it's just for creeping, just to get level two and the item. Focus also hunting after those items. He got a mantle already, which is amazing on the far soon. Speaking of amazing, double claws on the AM. All right, now we're talking. Okay, that is of course plus ten damage, not the displayed plus four, as it was buffed recently. Wolf checks the main, but here is the creep check. A little bit too late, and now he sees. Oh, that's a little bit more damage than I want to receive right now. Definitely one of the better early games that Sock had this entire series. And it's gonna Dang. be a tech this time. No expansion, but tier two now on the way. Focus has the lead here by perhaps 20 seconds or a little bit less. And now the Farseer also wants to find some kills, but this AM. These right clicks, man, not to be underestimated. Never should it ever. Grunt Headhunter Little bit of poking towards the main. Definitely saw that the tech is going on with defend. Oh, if that's not the beast master play that yeah. we've been talking about all day. It's smelling beastly in here, I would say. It's uh, looking a lot like the timing. We got a bunch of footies, defend coming. Uh, Focus now needs to make sure he doesn't allow AM to get level three. If the AM pushes with level three and beast master, that is such a dangerous, dangerous attack to hold off against. So Focus now needs to scout properly and make sure no camps are being sneaked in. All right, I feel like... Was there any creeping going on for Focus on the right-hand side? There was some movement. Don't know if we saw that, but here we go. Footman with defense into the orc base, but Focus defensive position is really good. One footy going to go down right away. And that's almost level two on the farce here. It's going to be a good level up to have as well. Trying to protect the shop, but I think the shop will be cancelled. Yep, looks like it. Only at 70%. There's no real way as long as the water elemental is up. Farseer here level two. Okay. But chain lightning level one isn't really that helpful. Sweet deny by Sog. Maybe it's a couple of these little moments that bring momentum into Sog's base. Tier 2 about to be finishing here, of course a little bit faster on the orc side. The downside for Sock now is, okay, he cancelled the shop, but he lost two footies and he lost a bunch of health on the other ones. This really weakens a possible Beastmaster timing, and uh, with rifles coming, I think we may have been off on the beastly mid-game. Seems like this might just be MK in the end. Well, there's nothing at the tavern, so you might just be right. Militia creep on the left hand side. He got enough lumber for sanctums and mountain king indeed. I oh, wonder if that's not a missed opportunity, but maybe it is the correct reaction after that botched first little push. Focus, of course, a little bit of an issue that he never got that shot, but his tier two is also unfolding, and then it's an arms race between the two second heroes. AM got the level three first, which is nice. Level 2 Water Elementals are now ready, but Shaman will soon be out to counter them. I wonder if he shouldn't have gone Aura, perhaps. Lots of mana on this farce here. My lordy! He's got the double mantles and the pendant. Pendant very good for the TC, especially. 
All right, this is the timing. This is what the level two watch elementals are supposed to do right now. Be potent at this point in the game. There's also a lot of poison on Focus's units. Ooh, nice Can he get some kills out? The stomp was sweet. Getting a lot of damage out here. Footman falling. Focus's defense so far, pretty perfect. I didn't lose anything just yet. Can I heal up the headhunters soon with the salves? Once he buys some. And again, honestly, nothing really seems to be coming together for Sock outside of, you know, getting level 3 on the AM. And this is not the damage you want to achieve. You have to do a lot more to slow down the TC and slow down the orc timings and ideally prevent any chance of a second base for focus. Because once that's up, you're in deep water. I like this. Militia being called and creep at the lab. This MK needs to level ASAP. And the TC... Not probably gonna have a lead this time if the MK gets the solo experience. Farseer out on the map with his wolves. He can also be quite annoying, quite strong here in the mid game. And we get daytime at 7 minutes 20, as always, which means the heal strolls have just become available. And nobody able to grab them up yet. Archmage damage is getting more and more crazy with the mantle and the rope, respectively. Run for the shop. Only one slot available, but yeah, heal scroll. Oh, no resources for any item just yet. Gotta pull back. Aim with plus 19 damage. That's pretty crazy, dude. That's yep. some sick right clicks. Sock also gets the heal scroll. Not looking too bad at the moment for the human. Definitely playable. We got raiders. No lightning shield yet. This is the moment to fight. Oi! Storm. Two footmen, not the greatest. Moving away with the Mountain King outside of Storm's range is what you want. And here's the expansion that we've been talking about. Is Sock in a position to clobber this down? And the rifle timing normally very good at dealing with an expansion, just like we see it coming up here. But of course, you want a level 3 MK. Needs a little bit more. Half a level to go. And perhaps the Nor Camp is supposed to do it. Oh, the sentry board sees the Invis TC Ooh. trying to go for the Invis pot play again, but this time Sok will certainly know. All right, a second sentry ward here for more scouting. But if you're under threat on the left hand side, how do you attack the expansion on the right hand side? There's still about a minute to go on the orc expansion. So I could perhaps finish this camp and then attack across the map, although that is a bit scary. Okay, has very little in terms of items, by the way. Um, Talisman of Evasion right now for him is okay. It's kind of like a ring of protection, more or less. But he's not looking too crazy just yet. Oh, and Focus gets the heal wards. Hallelujah. Oh, that's big. Especially in a defensive position. Or, or after a creep spot, during a creep spot. Now we move... Some intelligence items over, nicely pointed out by the Observer. More mana on the Mountain King, more clap, more damage. And that, of course, has to be countered by these heal wards that were already found and the heal scroll that we see now. Yeah, TC with some good items here. Pendant, heal wards, heal potion, invuln. Has to use the speed scroll to pick up the next item. One of mana stealing, it was also really good in the battle between TC and MK. TC felt the need to use the heal potion already. So lots of items being used here by focus before the fight really begins. Clap used against the stomp. Mountain King, no survivability on him here. Next stomp should be ready soon. <laughs> Gets it off! Where's the follow-up? Is it enough? Chain Lightning passes the town portal and MK survives. Just by a hair, though. New Lightning Shield summoned. Don't be exposed to the Mountain King. Nope. Gets the dispel off. That could have been worse. Yeah, focus here, force the opponent away. It costs him a lot of consumables, though. The heal potion, uh, and the invul potion, and the heal scroll. All used up for this. And Sog is the next one to get to the shop and get the next consumables. But here, focus can now creep at the lab and also heal up with the heal wards while taking the supply lead. Footman harass counted by wolves, but that was just a warm up. Focus wants more levels, wants the big item. Lionhorn of Stormwind, pretty damn good to have more armor. Peons being evacuated, but that expansion on the right-hand side is under siege now. If Sock gets the kill, it's probably his map. The focus holds. 
Sock goes 0 2 on day one of the group stage. Focus weighing his options. What's he gonna do? Invis Potion again. He's been appreciating these quite a bit. And this expansion is falling. There's no TP on Sock though. Attack into his base could be punished. Or a but backstab. Focus, still focus. Wants to fight. See, his focus seems very indecisive. Yes. He got three options basically human base, human army, or marketplace, but that's gone already. Sweet idea to go for a shop here for the town portal to get out whenever he needs it. Which I think he's gonna need very soon. Oh, TZ gets caught with a dispel and the Stormbolt, but he's still pretty scary there in the front line. But wait a minute, TZ doesn't even have an inbolt anymore. The TZ might be dead here in the thick oh. of things. Clap, right clicks, TZ goes down. Oh man, the lightning shields didn't prevent the kill, of course. Rifles are falling with the chain lightning, but how do you win this fight without your carry hero is the question. He was on the halfway to level five. Now Sock gets out, murder done. Couple of units, lots of units actually, falling for Sock in the process, but that TC kill was massive. Yeah, focus, all of a sudden this game seems to be slipping away from him. Has to go for the tavern res. Oh, when he's in upkeep already, man, that's expensive. He's gonna be broke here for a good while after getting the next item. Invo potion you was needed. And it seems like Sock now with the clear lead. Indeed, we got a 50 euro donation. Thank you, ESL Marcos. Thank you for all your work, boys. Thank you for all your contributions, brother. Thank you very, very much. That is super generous. And ESL Marcos also with the resub. Thank you very, very, very much. Seems like we're witnessing Sock uh, clutching victory from the jaws of defeat. This game looked so bad for him just a little while ago. Focus, he had 60 supply, right? But decided not to defend. He could have repaired the expansion with the peasants, with the peons, I mean, and then come from the left-hand side and kind of come from a flank position. But Focus was just a little bit slow with everything. Maybe the fact that he didn't have an invuln anymore is what really uh, caused him to be cautious. Didn't want to lose the TP, uh, the TC, excuse me. But then he still lost him in the end, so... Kind of the worst of all things happened. He lost the hero and the expansion and got little in exchange. <laughs> okay, is there still a chance? Of course there is. There always is. With the TC involved, with heavy nuke, heal scroll is available on both sides. Little choke, Murloc's getting involved. The shaman pretty exposed and you need them and their mana. Going for the archmage, has an invul potion. Does he have the time to go for it? Absolutely. One more stomp, waiting for the cooldown. It's off now. Where does it land? He's waiting, he's waiting and not using it here. Okay, only on the units, no hero focus. And with that, Sock should be able to, do, uh, to deal with this. Yeah, TC now, no mana anymore, not a big threat anymore. Militia coming in from the main base as well, greatly helping the human endeavor and the MK still has lots of juice. Ooh, boy, focus is running out of all the grunts, the clap again, a weapon of mass destruction and we're not done here. There's the mana potion, you might be able to get the peasants but who really cares about them at this point? Only struggle here is the Archmage. Army numbers very low. Ooh, okay, you stroll used. And now the Mountain King is out of mana. No bash. Game on a knife's edge. Oh, close game still. The TC made to five. There's gonna be one more storm in a little bit. Doesn't have it yet. Feels like Supply, Focus is losing. Dead even, but yeah. more kills going Focus's way. Exactly. Sock is losing a lot more than he should. Invis save on the rifle. All right, but what, will that save the game? I'm not too sure. Stomp, as you mentioned, was ready. Not using it before the town portal. Time to lick wounds for both of the players. Nobody has a second base to really recover from. Both have to rebuild the army. Both have to restock on items. This game ain't over yet. The priest heal now is wonderful to have, can easily heal up the heroes, clarity is running as well. Focus has to get to the shop and heal up also. He's got the clarity himself, he's got a close L5, Farseer, and in these small army kind of scrappy fights, the wolves could be really annoying with the invis, but also chain lightning is really good, it's hard to make the right choice here. That's right, depends if it goes into a more economical late game stage, then wolves are amazing. 
if we go for more fights than probably Chain Lightning, especially when hero kills are on the line. Focus back at 50. Sock on the other side was stocking up on potions. Two philosophies here. Oh, very important for Sock that he scouts with the water elemental. You don't want a creep check at the red spot. All right, next fight breaking out. One priest caught, and that one's going to be going down right away. TC is looking for the targets. AM has to stay out of range. Nothing on the AM to protect him. No potions. Oh, and Focus is finding a lot of kills here at the start. Sox group stage here in Jeopardy. Mountain King in the middle of the pack, but with lots and lots more collapse if he wants to. Being under fire, not committing too much here. And the Headhunters, they have a target once again. That's the casters. Level 5 on the fast here now as well. He's going for the wolves, they're on cooldown at the moment, but Sok has almost nothing left. It's only three breakers, that's it. That's his army. Wonderful trades by Focus here. Sok is going to try to turn it around, but he seems to be far on the back foot now. How do you stop the horde at this point? A 2-0 for Focus would, of course, uh, put him into a way better position in the group stage than we might have thought after the 0-2 against Kaho. But for Sok, all hopes of a group stage win are on the line here. Double level five, really strong now. And there we go, first round of Invis Wolves. Could make also the life for the peasants in the main very difficult. Sok doesn't have a TP either, he's broke. He can't really go out on the map. He's so close to double level five as well. But there's almost no creeps left. Is that the game changer? Yeah, exactly. How to get there is the question. Love how focus is expanding at the south. This entire game has been played in the north for like eight minutes now. Might just slip Sock's mind that there could be another second base at the seven o'clock position. Hard to make the right calls now. And Focus is camping at the shop, getting both invul potions. Very, very important here. In this late game where the hero kill becomes so strong, Saga's not going to have an invul for at least one and a half minutes, if then he's able to get there. Can maybe make use of some invis, get items that way. The MK is going to be really strong here at this stage in the game. But the AM, frail as he is, might be a liability. Speaking of liability, the wolves might be turning into a liability if they feed Sock the level 5s. Gotta be very careful with them, give a lot of XP if they are dealt with, and with the spell, that's of course easy to do. Now the Invis Water Elemental is out for the scout. Now Sock knows that there's a timer on his head. Getting a few more peasants. Magic Sentry is kind of nice. Now you can see the wolves at least in the main base. MK level 4.9. Seems like all is gonna be down to the MK once again. Yeah. But Focus is under no pressure really. There's no creeps except the red spot. Sock doesn't really have time to go there as it's on the opposite side of the map of where he wants to be. If he stops donating these wolves away, level 5 will not be available at the opening of the final brawl or yeah sock doesn't have any resources to counter expand right no way no it's gonna be one last ditch effort i think <sighs> so much pressure on sock this has to work and focus is so well equipped double in yeah. heal scroll level fives scouts everywhere this is what it all comes down to he knows exactly where and when the attack is coming, thanks to the wolves. He's got more supply on the way. Six supply being made at a time can make even more. Not making Shaman, interestingly. Feels like he has enough, I guess. All right, this is it. Last chance. Ooh, Sok. How do you deal with the pressure? That's level five, thanks to the wolves, we mentioned it. And Clap just got a lot stronger. Is one heal scroll enough? I wonder. No TP, here's the next level five. Also level three, brilliant Zora now. We see the first Clap right away into the back line. Mountain King kept safe as he doesn't have an invul. Stops the TC. That is a great setup for Sock with the breaker line here. TC can't reach for now. 
Now he's trying to get in though towards the casters. Land the stomp, but chain lightning on top as well. TC's close to level six. Invo potion needed. Invo only seven seconds. Is the TC gonna be surviving that time? Oh, looks like it. Needs another storm bolt soon. Can he get out? Breakers block the wall. TC 5.99 and he dies before the ultimate. Would have been back with full HP, no mana, a full mana, but that's not the case here. Clutch kill no by Sog. No as he way, dude. This up, focus is falling apart without the cow. Next, faster on the menu. Breaker almost around here. My god, what a fight. MK with the mana potion. He's got a bit more still to spam. Archmage level 5.6. Got a strong aura. So many kills can go his way over oh, the next clap as well. Kodo's in trouble also. No way. That was sick. Gotta be careful about these wolves always. Kodo's dead. Breaker's back. Push is still alive. Needs these reinforcements. Breaker's hurt in the main. You always gotta be careful about these wolf crits. And Sock is exposing his Archmage just a tiny little bit. But man, there is a carry. And that is the Mountain King close to level 6. Now he got the entire level 6 what in this fight. What the hell? Farseer also level 6, TC almost level 6, AM also getting closer to level 6. <laughs> 5.7 on him. Sock falling back, trying to get back to the shop. This MK now, an ultimate weapon. And Focus has a thousand gold. He didn't macro too well during the fight. Everything was so stressful. But now he can spend it back to 40 food immediately. Sock has to lick wounds, regen mana. He needs clarities. He didn't go for Cosmodon, by the way. It's level 3 Stormbolt, level 3 Clap, as it was so powerful in the last fight. Why not? Who Sock's alive? Main base is now expired. No income for Sock. Anymore. ANL 5.8. We got double mana potions on the orc heroes. They're healing up right now. Clarities and heal selves running. The running base, of course, here the win condition. Sock can waste no time. Thank you, Elto Ricano, for the 48 month resub. I'm saying, remember the prime subs. Exactly. We got some prime Warcraft here. So, sock down in supply. Kodos. Okay, that's the level six. Here we go. Stomp on the back line. This is all but done for Sock. The casters are falling apart. The setup this time a lot worse than before. Oh, wolf summoned again. The Invis Wolves here very strong. Stormbolt flying onto the Farseer. It does a lot of damage. But there's some potions as well to help him out. Clap, stomp everywhere. Level 6 Archmage. Might be water elementals. Exactly, MK! Can he save himself? No, and he can't save the series either. Focus on the brink of defeat, but able to bring it back. Cheeky smile. Yeah, yeah, he knows. That was way closer than it should have been. But man, he does it. After being defeated 2-0 by Kaho, he clutches out a 2-0 victory. And with that, still in the running for the group stage win. We gotta worry about Sox tournament life though. Yeah, this is a terrible start for Sock. Being down 0-2. I mean, the good thing is he's still gonna get into the ascension phase. That's guaranteed. But uh, this is a rough start. This is a rough showing so far. And arguably, he might still have to face the strongest player in the end, in Kaho. Maybe a better matchup for him though. I think against Night Elf right now, he's feeling better than he is against Orc. Yeah, he needs to figure out something new against Orc and also get his mojo back. It's just so many more mistakes right now that we're seeing from Sock compared to just a few months ago. And that second last fight could have been one of these moments that brings the confidence back. Being against the odds, getting that clutch kill on the on the TC at 5.99. Those are the moments that you need, but then Focus was just back with Vengeance, the Expo paying off, he in a better shape. Rough, rough, rough day one for Sock. Of course, a little time for redemption tomorrow versus Kaho. He's done for the day. Same goes for Focus. He has an Orc mirror ahead of himself tomorrow versus Fly for at least the second uh, place in the group stage. If he wants to still have a chance of winning this entire group, he's got to bank a little bit on the performance of Fly. That's up next in the match versus Kaho. Same situation as before. Kaho